Hello, hello. After much delay and quite a few technical difficulties, I suppose it's time that we get into the Q&A. So we'll just jump right into it with the birds in the background here and I'll answer a few questions. Well, first question we have is from Vincent and it is just, how is it when you first got them? And do you have any tips for someone who wants to own birds? And to answer that, Emery was incredibly easy. He was already hand tame. Um, he was extremely affectionate and he adjusted within, within a week, but he was clung to me like glue within the first couple of days. Like we bonded almost instantly. Um, I had him for a couple months and then I adopted Mango because I felt bad that he didn't have birds that he liked that he could get along with. I had adopted a few a few budgies to keep him company and they just did not get along. So I uh, started looking for Mango. Well, I found her and when I first got her, it was good at first and then I tried to start doing some work with her and it was absolute chaos. I uh, I also wasn't nearly as understanding of birds as I am now. Um, so she hurt herself pretty bad on on a mirror trying to when I was trying to train her. So I decided to clip her, which within about a month I realized that I regretted and it was a mistake. Um, Solaire and Indigo, on the other hand, they both came to me completely wild. Uh, I got them rescued from people who were keeping them strictly as breeder birds. They were locked in a dark basement, so they have zero desire to interact with people whatsoever aside from to attack them when they are interacting with the cage. Uh, I've actually been bit harder by Solaire than any of the other birds that I've had so far. Um, but yet he still has not drawn blood. So that's pretty impressive. Um, the adjustment process for Mango, she adjusted pretty quickly because thankfully I had Emery to, to keep her company. But uh, even still, like there is a lot of work to be done with her. She still does not trust me from the instance of me clipping her. So going forward, that's, uh, that's something that I would never do again to a bird, no matter how wild they are. Considering I've done so much work with Solaire and Indigo without them being clipped and it's only taken, well, it's only been two months so far and I've already had huge progress with them. Um, as far as advice for people who want to get into keeping birds, uh, the main advice that I would give somebody who says that they want to adopt a bird is, first of all, don't. Because you, you may say that you want a bird, but it is a lot more work than what all of these videos online may make it seem to be. They are incredibly messy. You have to clean up after them every single day. Um, you have to change their water out sometimes two to three to four times per day. They are also incredibly, incredibly intelligent, which, while it's a good thing, it's also kind of a detriment because they require a lot of engagement and a lot of variety in their life. That includes variety in food, variety in toys, variety in changing up their cage and giving them new environments to explore, and just in general, they just take a lot of engagement and a lot of time. But all things considered, if you are looking at adopting or rescuing a bird, first things first, consider rescuing. A lot of rescues, when they adopt out a bird, they will actually send the bird with their cage and all of the accessories, and the first vet check will have been taken care of. However, no matter what, before you end up looking at adopting a bird, make sure that you have a decent enough savings so that you can cover most unexpected vet expenses because with birds things can turn 
pretty quickly from they are fine to now they're ex- extremely sick and you need to take them to a vet. And exotic avian vets are not cheap. And the next question that we have is, what's my favorite parrot species? Um, that one's actually surprisingly simple to answer. My favorite parrot species would have to be the hyacinth macaw. Uh, second to that, it would be a very close tie between green cheek conures uh, as well as African greys. And probably third on that list would be blue and gold macaws. And now, I really like this one. If I had to get a parrot species other than a green cheek conure, what species would it be? And I am actually in the works with potentially looking to rescue a slightly older African grey at the moment. But we're going to see how that works out in the near future. It's probably going to be an investment which I look at bringing home sometime during the summer this year. Next we have, what is my favorite green cheek conure mutation? And to that, I would probably say that the sun cheek mutation is probably my favorite, followed very closely by the turquoise, which is what emery is. And then third to that would be a crossover between the two, essentially. It's uh, either the mint cheek No, sorry, not mint cheek. Uh, Moon cheek or mint conure. Now, this next question is tough. Who do you love the most? Like, that is an incredibly hard question to answer. Um, In terms of, for example, let's say, if, if my house was burning down, which birds would I try to rescue first? I would definitely be trying to get to Emery and Mango's cage and get them into a carrier and get them out first. Um, And then as I went, I would be trying my best to grab Solaire and Indigo on the way. But I'm not sure if... uh, I'm not sure if Indigo would even survive me grabbing her in a situation like that. But all the same, if my house was burning down and my birds were still in that house... I would be going back in to get every single one of them. So it's not like it's a matter of are any of them expendable because no. And lastly, we have, do you have a favorite and who is the best behaved? And I know they say that you shouldn't pick favorites and stuff, but no, Emery is hands down 100% my favorite. Um, But that also does not mean that he is the best behaved out of my birds. Um, As far as best behaved goes, I would have to say that Mango is the best behaved because, for one, she's incredibly quiet and incredibly sweet. She's never bit, even once. Um, She's pulled some hairs and stuff like that, but that's just, I mean, birds do that. And yeah, she's overall just incredibly sweet and normally pretty quiet bird and hilarious to just hang out with so and as an aside to that too she is also my second best trained bird emery of course is my absolute best trained bird and he's just a little bird genius but all in all she is even with how timid she is she's a very very smart bird and she's very well trained but it looks like that will do it for the Q&A for 500 subscribers. Thank you to everybody who has put in their questions, to everybody who has subbed along the way and watched the videos, liked and commented, and recommended us to other people. You are all amazing, and thank you so much. I cannot say that enough. So, as payment for that, take the rest of this video of Emery and Mango just hanging out, having a good time, And enjoy the rest of your Sunday.